time. I bet you think you don't have enough time in your life to do things you want to do in the day, to do the things you want to do in your life, to find out who you are and why you're here. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm so glad you came by today to join us in our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What is a metaphysical ministry? Well, it's actually the philosophical, the explanation of the science of quantum physics. And when you start understanding what quantum physics is showing us, then you finally understand that what you see, hear, taste, smell, touch, using your five senses, you're getting maybe 1% of the experience of what's out there in the world. So I'm here to help you learn how to discover the bigger world, to make your life experience deeper, richer, more satisfying. Start every week with a happy share. Now that's something that leaves you feeling happy, safe, at peace. Not something that that's happened to your kid or or your spouse or your best friend or your parents. Something that left you feeling happy, safe, and at peace. So my happy share is for many, many years I've been experimenting with different cameras and different microphones and I think I finally hit upon something that works that's extremely doable. And my favorite part is, if I'm not wanting to have my guitar, my electric guitar, I can do this any place. I can go out in the woods. I can be on a site of some place I love being and make your videos. So some of those will be coming up in the future. Now let me go back to this question of time. And why do we think that we don't have enough time? Got a minute? What you gonna do in your minute? You'll probably say you don't have time now. Oh, that's a lie. I'll tell you why. How much time do you spend on your phone? How much time do you spend alone without a device? With a device. Social media may be far and away your biggest vice. Here's some helpful, some helpful advice. Ready? Ready now. Turn in, turn on to now. See the gifts that live only in the now. Hey, that's why they call it the present. The solutions you seek will become self-evident in the present. When you go within, that's where Knowledge does begin Your outside world Always and only reflects What's going on in here Between your two ears And here Here And here What do you want to know? The gold at the end of your rainbow lives here. Now last week I was talking about brain waves and coherence and your heart waves and coherence and matching the two of them together and connecting to your spirit and the need for clarity because the coherence and having everything flow is what you're allowing into your world so that your life flows. 
So I want to reiterate the fact that everything comes from your heart first. So you might think, well, I speak these words and these thoughts, but where are they coming from? They're coming from the feelings, most of which are out of your awareness. But that's what's bubbling up, causing you to say the things, to think the things, and unfortunately to take the actions that keep you stuck because you're acting out of non-conscious awareness. So what's the solution? The solution is meditation. Now people think meditation is a woo-woo thing. Well, I've been doing meditation for decades and it, what it keeps me sane when I've been through really serious injuries and difficulties. It's what keeps me sane because I can tune in and I can hear clearly the messages that are constantly coming from the universe, from my guides, from my angels, from my higher self. And they're constantly feeding you from those sources for you. So there are many ways to meditate. If you've never done it, go in over to the link that's down below and I have some suggestions of ways that you can start. There are so many meditations out there and there's going to be one or more than one that feels right for you. Now, what was I talking about with social media being your vice? People will tell you they don't have time. And if you would clock the time they're spending on their social media, the people who have their phone by their bed and they wake up checking and then they go to sleep checking, which by the way, having your phone in your room is like the worst thing you can do for your brain. You're frying your brain, even if it's turned off. So by looking at, have I missed anything? What's going on? And oh, so-and-so has this great life going on. How many stories that are shared on social media do you believe are real? People put this imaginary best foot forward because they want to look like everybody else is doing the same thing. And then there's a whole group of people who go on there to complain about their lot in life, about other people, about circumstances. How does it serve you to be party to that? Plus the fact that everything you share is recorded where do you think those ads come from targeting you? There's too much data on you. And by being on social media, you're sharing even more so that the companies know what you like, who your friends are, what they like. Is that really how you want to live your life? What about being with the people you're with? How often have you seen people with someone else but everybody's on their own phone. Well, what about talking to the person who's right next to you? What about going out and making some new friends? Face to face, you can feel the energy. You can get a better feeling of what's real and what somebody's putting on as a front. And be aware that how your life is going reflects the lives of your five closest friends. So if you don't like what's going on, change your friends. Feel whether or not you're aware of it, you are responding to the energy of the people around you. So if you come away feeling good, that's somebody you wanna know. But if you come away feeling the same you felt before, so-so, or even yucky, you don't need to be around that person any more. And just as an aside, the whole thing with the heads looking down, I've seen forward head in kids as young as their 20s. If you have a forward head, you're impinging on the nerves running from your brain to your body. You're creating all kinds of very serious health issues that incrementally build over time. You're going to be in real trouble in 10, 20, 30 more years. So 
be in touch with who you are, with your spirit. It's your spirit. It's your energy from your heart that goes out and tells the universe what to deliver to you. Not the thoughts you're thinking. If you wonder why your affirmations don't work, it's because you think the affirmations you speak are being fulfilled. No, it's the affirmations being fulfilled because they work 100% of the time, but it's what the universe is getting from your emotions all day long. Now, you can find me. If you want to learn more about meditation, you want to learn more about yourself and how to connect with your spirituality. That's not religion. Spirituality is different from religion. Go and over visit me at Metaphysical Ministry International dot com. I look forward to hearing from you because it's up to you to change your world and it's up to you to make the time that feels good to you.